Hey guys, welcome to Niddleman. Please remember to subscribe if you want to get some awesome movie review type content every single week. Now, this week I saw Batman The Killing Joke. It's based off the graphic novel. Now, with a disclaimer for this review, I have not read the graphic novel. I've honestly not really even watched a whole lot of the Batman animated movies. You know, I, I used to watch the cartoon back in like the 90s when I was in like junior high and elementary school and stuff. But really, I've just watched the live action stuff. So if you're looking for a comparison with the comic or comparison with other of the animated Batman movies, uh, I, I can't help you with that. All I can give you is a fresh perspective of somebody who's not familiar with this story arc or this storyline at all. So here we go. So basically the idea to this movie, it is the background of the Joker. It kind of shows you how he became who he is and how he's trying to convince Batman that anybody can become just like him due to one bad day. Now the storyline to this movie um, I saw so much potential with it, and I really wanted to like it. But it was weird because it was like certain parts of it felt way too long, but the movie overall felt way too short. By that, I mean the beginning of this movie, like the first half hour, is really about Batgirl. It was like Batgirl the killing joke instead of Batman the killing joke. Now, they rated this movie rated R, and there's things like sex scenes with Batgirl, which I thought was kind of awesome, because I don't care if she's a cartoon, she's kind of hot. Let's, let's be realistic, she's kind of hot. Now, there's blood and stuff in this movie, but honestly, that first half hour just felt so tacked on, like it was a whole other episode of some other cartoon, and they were just like, we need to make this movie longer, so let's just put this here. Now, they were trying to do it to get you some character development of Batgirl for what happens in this movie, but it didn't really work for me. That's just the way it is. Now, when it gets to the main meat of the movie, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but as far as the transition of the Joker turning from kind of like a normal, failing comedian type of person into the Joker, I thought they had so much potential with the story they were doing to kind of show this slow progression of him turning into the Joker, but it felt so sudden that the buildup they had didn't really work for me, honestly. Like, I enjoyed watching it, but it just felt like, oh, this guy's having a tough time, tough time, boom, he's the Joker, and it was just like, there wasn't a slow transition, and Honestly, I've always kind of viewed the Joker as one of those villains that you don't really need a backstory of. I kind of liked in the, the Dark Knight how he gives you different backstories. You don't really know what the real backstory is. And he's always just been the kind of that mysterious guy. So when you see his backstory in this cartoon, I don't know if it's officially canon or if it's just its own thing or whatever. But at least in this version, I really don't like his backstory. It's really not that intriguing to me. You know, it could have been. It was had a lot of potential. But it was just kind of like, meh, that's how he became the Joker? Okay, I, I guess. Now, the animation was pretty standard. It was a lot better than, like, the 90s cartoons or something, but it's nowhere near, like, a real feature film that would have been released, which is probably why it was, like, a one-day thing. So the animation looked kind of basic, and it was kind of inconsistent, too. Ow, I bit my lip. Ah, but it was kind of inconsistent, too, because... There are certain parts of the cartoon in this movie where the animation seemed really detailed, really realistic, and other parts where it just seemed kind of bland. So it almost felt like certain parts, maybe they just didn't have enough time to work on it or something. I don't know. But the animation seemed kind of inconsistent. But honestly, it didn't really bother me. I'm just pointing it out for you guys. Now, the voice talent was amazing. Let's be honest. It's the old classic people like Mark Hamill doing the Joker, and that is awesome because he is an amazing Joker voice. But again... I keep going back to the plot being a negative because the Joker has this diabolical plan to, you know, show Batman how anybody can become just like him, you know, if they have a bad day. But what he does in the movie and to the person he does it to, it's like, I could have gone through that and not been fucking crazy. Like, that's it? That's all you got, Joker? Like, really? Come on. They, it basically it just has a bunch of weird people walking around. It's like a weird stuff happening, but there's nothing that would drive you insane. Yeah, there's some twisted stuff in there, but nothing that... I just felt his plan was lackluster. It was. It's like they could have done so much more, especially they already made the movie rated R. Go fucking crazy with this. You know, let's fucking beat it over our heads. Show us how fucking crazy the Joker is, you know? Like, ah! But they didn't do it. I felt like it just didn't pull off what it was trying to do. And honestly, this movie, it just gave me blue balls. I just didn't get what I wanted out of it. I am so sorry, guys.
Now, look, I'm sure I'll get a bunch of hate comments from you saying, you know, oh, you just don't get it. You didn't read the graphic novel. Whatever. I'm. It is what it is. Look, let me know. Were you given blue balls by watching this movie? Did you get what you wanted out of it? Let me know and comment below. Let's talk about what they could have done better. Eh? Also, please remember to subscribe. Remember to like the video and stay tuned if you want to see some more movie reviews. If you can handle it, go.